Hello, and welcome to Survivor. Today, you will, I'll, I'll play an Outlast and learn a little bit about the TV reality show Survivor. Today, you'll go through the life of a Survivor contestant, and today, we will start at camp, where you will learn some basic background information about Survivor. Then, we will head into the Immunity Challenge, where you will learn about some of the best players to, to play the game and why they are considered the best. And then, you will head to Tribal Council, where you'll learn about the Survivor's beloved host, Jeff Probst. So, you wake up, and you hear the, the birds chirping and the waves crashing against the sand on the beautiful island Fiji. Fiji has been the host of Survivor for the most seasons, been for the past six years. The original concept for Survivor began in Switzerland in 1997, but the original show didn't air until 2000. <clears throat> According to SurvivorVax.com, there have been over 608 players, 41 seasons, in 25 different countries hosting Survivor. The show lasts 39 days for a total for a total of 39 days, and the grand prize is one million dollars. And uh, the the winner gets picked by the jury, who is composed of voted out players after the merge. Next, let's head into today's immunity challenge. As we get into today's immunity challenge, you look around and try to scope it out, and you get reminded of some of the best players. First one that pops into mind is Rob Mariano, a.k.a. Boston Rob. Boston Rob has played in three different seasons, five different seasons, and according, and according to Looper.com, on, on his Survivor season, on his first win to Redemption Island, Rob ran circles around his list, season tribe mates. He won challenges, found the hidden immunity idol, and maintain an iron grip on his tribe. He ended up winning that, that season, and uh, in Survivor Island of the Idols, they even made a uh, statue of his head as a part of the island. The next winner we will talk about is Sandra Diaz Twine. She has won twice. She has played in a total of four total of seasons. She isn't the, the biggest challenge threat, but she used her strategic social game to end up winning both two, two of her seasons. Her first win was on Survivor Pearl Islands, her second was on Survivor Heroes vs. Villains. She also, along with Rob, had a island on Island of the Idols had a statue of her head made. And our third best player is Tony Vlachos. He has also won twice. He his first win was on Survivor Kageyan. He won many immunity he didn't win any immunity challenges, but he managed to to find the hidden immunity idol multiple times. His he also won Survivor. Winners at War. This season was composed of winners of past seasons, with the grand prize being $2 million instead of one. He won many hit immunity challenges, winning three. He also won, he also found many different hidden immunity idols. And finally, as we head to Tribal Council, we get to learn about the beloved host, Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst is not only the host of Survivor, but also the executive producer. But he is more than that. He is also a New York Times winning author of the book series Stranded. According to CBS, Jeff has hosted every single has, is a four-time Emmy Award winner for the outstanding for outstanding reality host. Yeah, he, he doesn't have any kids of his own, but he has adopted two kids. He also he's from Wichita, Kansas, and he also funds many charities including his own founded Serpentine, a charity that helps foster kids get into the real, have a chance in, in the real world and <clears throat> help them get into the job force. And he says his favorite player of all time is Poverty Shallow. He said he likes her strate strategic gameplay and some of his favorite seasons are Winners at War, Heroes vs. Villains, and Pearl Islands. Now that you have out outwitted, outplayed, and outlast, I hope that you learned a little bit more about Survivor. First we began at camp where we learned some basic background information. Then we went to the immunity challenge where we learned about some of the best players to ever play the game. And finally, we went to tribal council where we learned about Jeff Probst. Thank you.